16 ஜூலை அவர் லேடி ஆஃப் மவுண்ட் கார்மல் ஆப்ஷனல் மெமோரியா த சீக்ரெட் ஸ்கிரிப்சர்ஸ் ஸ்பீக் ஆஃப் த பியூட்டி ஆஃப் மவுண்ட் கார்மல் வேர் த ப்ராஃபிட் எலைஜா டிஃபெண்டட் த ஃபெய்த் ஆஃப் த பீப்புள் ஆஃப் இஸ்ராயல் in the living god in the 12th century a group of hermits settled there and afterwards set up the carmelite order to lead a contemplative life under the patronage of the holy mother of god a reading from the sermons of pope saint leo the great mary conceived in her soul before she conceived in her body a royal virgin of the race of david is chosen to bear the holy child the divine and human son whom she conceived in her soul before she conceived him in her body unless she might be afraid when something so unexpected came to pass not knowing the divine plan she was shown in her conversation with the angel that what was to be accomplished in her would be the work of the holy spirit she would soon be the mother of god without loss of virginity for why should she lack hope because of the utter novelty of such a conception when it was promised that it would be brought about by the power of the most high her trusting faith was confirmed by a miracle already accomplished elizabeth was given unhoped for fertility so that there would be no doubt that he who granted conception to the sterile could grant it also to a virgin and therefore the word of god god the son of god who in the beginning was with god and through whom all things were made and without whom was not anything made became man to liberate man from eternal death without any diminution of his majesty he stooped to take on our lowliness so that remaining what he always was and taking to himself what he was not he might unite the genuine state of a slave to that state in which he was equal with god the father by such a bond did he link both natures that this exaltation might not consume the lesser nor the taking of humanity lessen the higher each nature then retains all that was proper to it it comes together in one person and so lowliness is assumed by majesty weakness by power mortality by eternity to pay the debt of our fallen nature a nature beyond all suffering was united to our suffering nature and true god and true man are joined into unity of the lord this was so that as was needed for our healing one and the same mediator between god and men might through one nature die and through the other rise again rightly then was virgin integrity in no way marred by giving birth to our salvation for the birth of truth was the safeguard of chastity such a birth dearly beloved befitted christ the power of god and the wisdom of god for by it he would be joined to our humanity yet remain far above us in his divinity unless he were true god he could bring us no aid unless he were true man he could offer us no example the angels therefore exult at the birth of the lord they sing glory to god in high heaven they announce peace on earth for men on whom his favor rests for they behold the heavenly jerusalem being constructed from out of all the peoples on earth how greatly 
art mere men to rejoice at this mysterious undertaking of divine love when the angels on high thrill so much at it